In today's fast evolving technological landscape, staying ahead requires not just coding skills, but also a deep understanding of various tools, frameworks and methodologies. Whether you are venturing into web development, software engineering, app creation or even diving into emerging technologies like AI or machine learning, the right courses can be the key to unlocking your potential. Some prefer open source or free resources to gain knowledge, arguing that it should be free and they don't want to spend any cents for the courses. My opinion is opposite. Every work, especially well done, should be paid. I find Udemy a great place where we can find the best in the world instructors with the fair price policy. If you see the price around $100 to $100, I recommend searching on the internet how to pay less. $10-$15 dollars is the regular price on this platform. Alright, number one. All developers should own a JavaScript course. Almost every developer that I have known or worked with in my career knows how to use JavaScript. They may occasionally need to make JavaScript tweaks for non-JavaScript related tasks. No matter if you are using React or Node.js or you are just doing a basic web development, manipulating the DOM, you should know JavaScript and you should have the JavaScript course in your tool belt. Well, there is one on Udemy called the complete JavaScript course from zero to expert. This is my number one recommended JavaScript course on Udemy. Next goes Git. Git is a fundamental tool for developers, offering not just version control, but also promoting efficient collaboration, ensuring code safety, and enabling developers to contribute effectively to both personal and community-driven projects. It has become an industry standard, and proficiency in Git is highly valued in the software development field. My recommendation would be course by well-known instructor Maximilian Schwarzmüller. This course will guide everyone through the core steps to use these tools in your daily projects with easy. Alright, number 3. You need an API design course. You will, in your career, work with API, and it's not just going to be a crude, simple API. You are going to need to know routes, you are going to need to do authentication, and you are going to need to know all about status codes. APIs are really the backbone of the software engineering in interacting with services and applications. One day, you'll get assigned with the task to work on API, and you are going to be expected to jump right in. So my recommendation here is going to be Node.js, the complete RESTful API masterclass. This course, you're going to learn how to build Node.js RESTful API using Express and MongoDB. And you are going to learn about requests and bodies and status codes and authentication, user routes and security issues, and all these things you need to know. 4. Learning to write automated tests is crucial for developers because it's not only aids in early bug detection and code quality, but also supports flexibility in making changes, facilitates collaboration, reduces manual test efforts, and builds trust in the product's reliability. Automated testing has become an integral part of modern software development practices, making it an essential skill for developers to ensure the success and quality of their projects. For unit testing and integration tests, my recommendation would be JavaScript unit testing the practical guide. This course will provide you with an extremely solid foundation to build upon, such that you can start adding tests to all your JavaScript projects. For end-to-end -end tests, playwright web automation testing from zero to hero would be the best choice. This class covers all the fundamental concepts of the framework. We begin from scratch, starting with setup and configuration, and then a hands-on framework overview to familiarize yourself with the environment. Now, the fifth course that every developer should own is a SQL course. Understanding database queries is another skill that you can pass upon. You may be a front-end developer and you're still going to at some point to have to make some queries to the database. You'll be required to have a surface-level understanding of pulling data from the database. Now, you might not even be writing the SQL yourself, but you'll need to understand how it works, even if programming language you are using is doing it for you. So what I'm getting at here is you just need a base understanding of SQL and SQL queries. And the course for this, of course, going to be the complete SQL bootcamp by Jose Partilo. 
you've got SQL statement fundamentals, you've got the group by statements, joints, advanced commands, great in databases and tables, conditional expressions, and so forth. It's just like the basic SQL that you need to know. Number six, all developers should own a cloud certification course. It seems like every job out there nowadays requires a knowledge at least one of the major cloud platform, AWS, Azure, and GCP. You don't have to get certified. That's not what I'm getting at. But you need to become familiar with at least one of them. So on Udemy, you should pick one of these cloud certification courses. Here's what I recommend. For AWS, look no farther than this guy here, Stefan Marek. So if you are just getting started out in cloud, you can do less certified cloud practitioner course, which is kind of an intro to cloud computing and AWS services. So, like I said, you don't have to take the certification, but this will get you really familiar with AWS. And if you don't want to get certified, this is a kind of base level you can get certified at. So, let's AWS. For Azure, there is a guy called Scott Duffy. He's an expert on Udemy and you want to trust him. So, here's the AZ900, which is again the kind of intro into client computing in Microsoft services on Azure. If you want to take it a step further, here's the AZ104 by Scott Duffy. As far as Google, I looked on Udemy and I found the highest rated course and it looks like the guy here is kind of your top Udemy instructor. I mean, over 22,000 ratings, I would go like this one. This is the GCP Associate Cloud Engineer. Containers, especially tools like Docker and Kubernetes, hold immense importance in the realm of software development and deployment for various reasons. Containers such as Docker and an orchestration tool like Kubernetes have become indispensable in the modern development life. They provide portability, scalability, security and efficient resource management, aligning with the requirements of agile, scalable and reliable application in today's dynamic technological landscape. And here again, our friend Maximilian Schwarzmüller comes with help. His course Docker and Kubernetes The Practical Guide will teach you both Docker and Kubernetes from the ground up with all the required theory and tons of examples and demos. Now, number 8 on the list of Udemy courses all developers should own is Linux courses. You can't escape Linux, and I'm not talking about the common line. You may have a MacBook and you can use like the Unix terminal. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Linux system itself, the file system, user account management, networking, etc. All the clouds are going in Linux, like Linux rule the world, and you are going to have to know it. You are not going to have to get certified. You're not going to be an expert, but you're going to know the way around the file system and how to do things in Linux, plus the command line. So every developer should have a solid Linux course in their toolkit. And the number one pick out there is a course called Linux Administration, the complete Linux bootcamp. We got the Linux terminal, which everybody wants to know. We got the Linux file system, user account management, file permissions, software management, software administration, shell scripting, and so on. And the challenge for each section. So if you want to be a good developer, get to know Linux. Number nine is a clean code course. One thing that you will learn is that really good developers, those that you look up to, write really clean code. It's not only clean, but it's impressive. You write like 40 lines and then they come and rewrite it in like 10. And it's always in that way you didn't think of. This because of many of them have learned these principles of clean code, like solid principles and proper variable naming. And they can talk about things like singletons and abstractions. So I'm going to recommend a course that you should work through over time. A little bit here, a little bit there, to make your coding cleaner. Learn these practices and you will see a great improvement. So the course led is called A Clean Code by Maximilian Schwarzmüller. This course teaches you how to write readable, understandable and maintainable code in an example-driven way. Number 10. 
Learning about networking is a fundamental for developers as it enhances their ability to design, develop and maintain applications that effectively communicates and remain secure in today's interconnected digital landscape. This knowledge enables developers to create robust, efficient and reliable software that meets the demand of the modern users and businesses. My recommendation would be Compatia Network Plus. You will learn the fundamentals of network and gain experience in the configuration, management and troubleshooting of common wired and wireless network devices. Also, you will discuss emerging technologies such as unified communications, mobile, cloud and virtualization technologies. 11. Next topic every developer should learn is security. Learning about the security is crucial for developers to create applications that not only function effectively, but also maintain the integrity, confidentiality and availability of data. The course is very informative and good for people that has no knowledge about the cybersecurity so far. It teaches about the harm caused by attackers and how to prevent them. I would suggest everyone to take this course even if you don't want the certificate from Compatio. Okay, so number 12 course that all developers should own is a 100 day course. It's like a course that actually takes you through like 30, 40 projects in a language or framework or something like that. And that does is not only teaches you the language, it gives you so needed practice. So these courses give you a lot of small and intermediate projects to build out. In my top of this category is, of course, 100 days of code the complete Python Pro Bootcamp by Angela Yu. On this one, you can master Python by building 100 projects in 100 days. Learn data science, automation, build websites, games and apps. This course taught me a lot about Python I didn't even know you could do. So this course starts out in the beginner projects. So you have Hangman, you have Blackjack, and then it goes to intermediate where you are working with CSV data, building a password manager, APIs, and then go into the advanced topics and professional portfolio projects. So there is a hundred projects, a hundred Python projects in a hundred days. And you don't have to do one a day. You can go through and pick out the ones you like. But courses like these help you see the power of languages and give you ideas for apps to build to make you a better programmer. Now, if you don't want to use a Python, there is another one called 100 days of JavaScript that has a great ratings and the project looks fun too. They look a little bit more beginner. I don't see anything super complicated here, so let's learn option. Alright, 13 of the list of courses every developer should own is an algorithm or coding interview course. In your software engineering career, you'll be switching jobs every couple of years. That's what we do, is the fastest way to level up your skills and your salary. But for each job, you're gonna work through some coding challenges. Now, for some jobs, it's pretty easy, you just have to answer a few easy programming challenges. Other companies like Facebook or Google, you're gonna know pretty complicated algorithms. So it's always good to have an algorithm coded challenges course that you can brief yourself on before you go to looking for a new job. And my recommendation would be this. This is a course by Andrew Guy. He has so many courses, his website is like zero to mastery, he's just brilliant and he's an excellent teacher. Well, he has this course called Mastery to Code Interview, Data Structure plus Algorithms. So here you're going to go through all this data structure, you're gonna hash tables, linked lists, stacks and keys. So we go with get structure, algorithms and learn some extra stuff. But this would be a good course to add to your toolkit. If you are doing JavaScript in your interviews, I think he sticks to JavaScript this whole course. If you are trying to get a job and you need to know Python and do the Python algorithms, then there is another option called Data Structures and Algorithms Python by Scott Barrett. Now, this course looks great, great ratings, good content, kind of the same as Andrew's course, but in Python. Now, the last, the course that will help you to progress from junior to senior level. Becoming a senior developer is much more than just becoming a better programmer. In fact, that doesn't have a lot to do with it, let's come anyway. But you need to learn professional skills, relational skills, 
You need to learn leadership. You need to learn how to make right decisions when needed, even in high pressure situations. So I have a course for you on Udemy that will help you to develop these skills. First, there is a course called Software Development Mindset for a Successful Career. And I took a look at this and I thought these topics were very relevant. You got senior, bypass ego, don't get attached to the title, conceptual thinking and design decisions, and then moving forward, becoming elite and higher, getting advanced degrees, going solo and things like that. So I think this course looks to be very helpful, not to only take you from junior to senior, but to help you understand your role in each level. So that's one option. Our list ends here. If you found this video helpful, give it thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like content like this. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.